How's it going guys? Jaxa here, back with another video, kind of off the back of another video I made a while ago talking about how to set up and use VR in iRacing. This video is going to be how to record iRacing um, while you're using VR. So it's fairly simple. First thing you'll need to do is download OBS and then you'll get something that looks like this. Let me close out all this stuff. I'll leave the link in the description where to buy, or, or not buy, it's completely free. It's one of the best programs, it's been around many years. It's a way you can sort of capture stuff, you can stream it or record it or do both but how to actually get iRacing on your screen so what we're going to do is we're going to come down to sources we're going to press add a source and then you are going to come to a game capture and we'll call it iRacing and we'll say capture any full screen application but we'll say capture a specific window and that window is going to be iRacing sim 64 dx 11exe it's not going to be the UI, it's gonna be the simulator executable file. And there we go, we have it. So basically this, the way this works, I'm not in VR at the moment, but this is the exact same way. When you load up VR and iRacing, it'll actually, it'll open up a window behind and it'll have everything you need to record with. It won't be laggy. iRacing puts out a very, very good source that you can record from. As far as audio, you'll come down here you will add a source, sorry, down to this plus, and application audio capture. This is the way I do it personally, just so it doesn't get messy, or if you move your headphones around, it doesn't mess up. iRacing audio. We are gonna make that iRacing Sim 64. There we go. We have iRacing audio. We'll add in another, we'll add in an audio input called mic, set it as our microphone. You can add in another one called Discord, if you're playing with friends, where is Discord? Set it as Discord, but when we're in Discord, we're not always gonna be inside this room. So match title, otherwise find window of the same type. We're gonna come down here, match title, otherwise find window of same executable. That's what we want. So no matter what, if Discord's open, any sound coming out of that, it'll capture it. And pretty much, you know, now you have three audio channels. You can customize them as you want, if one's too loud or one's not too loud. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you record iRacing in general and in VR. Uh, in VR, it'll load up a whole screen behind here. And if you find that there's a black bar down here because you're not running VR in borderless, which what I mean by that is when you come into VR, you wanna make sure you have this unchecked. That means it'll go down from top to bottom. I can tab out. I can get the window back, but it's like it's full screen, but it's not as inaccessible. It's not tough to get in and tough tough to get out of. So um, that's pretty, pretty useful. Um, but make sure you have border off. That way it'll stretch screen to screen. But if you don't manage to do that for whatever reason, you can always stretch the image and then recenter it. And that black bar at the bottom will be gone. But you don't want to do that because you lose quality. No one wants that. So, um, yeah, that's how you record iRacing in general, and that's how you record iRacing in VR. Thanks for watching.